decisive yes for Britain in Europe. No, no, no. I do not intend to let Britain be sidelined in Europe. We will give the British people a referendum. I don't like to be told what to do by other people. I've come here as a pale ale version of Nigel Farage to see whether drinking beer fuels your scepticism in Germany in the way it does in the United Kingdom. Any of you speak English? Do you speak English? No, oh, already. I think England belongs to Europe as everybody else. We are a big family. Oh, you UK? No, I'm a Tory. You three guys. I have to drink a lot of blood and more beer. <laughs> yeah, before you ask me again. What's the pressure if you're 100% European? Okay. 100%, not, 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 not even less than that. So would you like us to join the Euro? Absolutely, why not? What is, what is the pound? Is it worth the pound? Well, um, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I would certainly keep the pound, but... Uh, why? Why? What is the pound? Oh, I mean, I think there are advantages in having your own currency, which the euro crisis has, has shown. But I'm, I'm interested in your views rather than mine. <laughs> so I want to know... I'm on the other side of that, the house. I'm interested yeah. in yours. But you're, for me, looking a bit weird. Yeah. Hey, this is Munich Oktoberfest, and you're absolutely. looking absolutely weird. Absolutely weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on. Well, I think your costume's finer than mine. That's is that a costume? True. Hey, 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 that is tradition. Your national so, dress. This is national dress. Yeah, and, that's right. And to be, to be honest, this is offending. This mm -hmm. is critical offending, because that's national dress, and this yes, is weird, yes. here, okay. that's absolutely weird. Great skill, yeah. I've always thought horses were essentially your sceptic Do you think it helps your cause when you could win by-elections? I always want the Conservatives to win by-elections. I believe the Conservative Party is the one party that can give us what we want in terms of a renegotiation and a referendum. So you will never join UKIP? I will join UKIP after Kenneth Clark has. So that's never? Never. I think it would be a tragedy if Britain left the European Union and I would be disappointed um, I think Britain has played such a key role when it comes to peace um, within Europe um, and it's a core member state of the European Union so I think it would send an extremely bad signal if that country left that union. And many people in the UK would like to go back to a free trade area within Europe, mm -hmm. not a political union. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't work like that. If you want free trade, um, you need um, some sort of, you know, rules that apply um, to everyone. The absolute essential touchstone is that the free movement of people needs to be changed. Britain needs control of her own borders. Without that, the renegotiation is not enough. We believe, first of all, ever closer union is absolutely necessary for Europe to play a role in a globalized world. And secondly, free movement of labor is necessary to have a real working and functional internal market of half a, a billion people. But is the European Union a global player in trade of an effective kind? If you take the free trade agreement currently being <laughs> negotiated uh, with the United States, this is partly being held up because of Parmesan cheese and French films. Now, the UK could have had its own free trade agreement with the US probably 10 years Absolutely, ago. Absolutely, good luck. And so we uh, have denied ourselves yeah, 10 yeah, years good, good, of this good, additional yeah. growth because we're worried about Parmesan cheese. I'm here asking people about Britain and the European Union. I have to confess that I'm one of the, the guys who says that we need Britain and European Union, uh, and you also need us. So we have to do what we can to have Britain and Europe. On the other hand, uh, Pacta sunt servanda. So I think that none of the current deals can be opened. So it's only about negotiating how far Britain is willing to go on, to go further. 
Look, if you join a club, you abide by certain rules. If you find that most of the rules are not in your interest, then you yourself have to decide where you go. We are prepared to change the rules of the club to a degree where it still remains a club. But yes. we are not going to dissolve Boodles or White, so that's the neon <coughs> club, so that one member is be happy and all the other members are unhappy. That's, that's just not possible, we not should, logically. Perhaps we should become an overseas member. <laughs> I've seen some fascinating people, but they are all First Eleven Federalists. Now I'm going to meet somebody from the alternative for Deutschland, who I hope will be an intelligent and sophisticated Eurosceptic. We are pro-Europe, which is to say we are pro-market, uh, free market in Europe. We just want um, to give the power back to the member states. And if the United Kingdom said that they don't want the free movement of people anymore, would you think that was reasonable? I don't think um, <clears throat> that is on the long run a good solution. I think um, the freedom of movement within the European Union is a good thing. It um, <clears throat> brings a lot of benefits. Well, there may be balm in Gilead, but not a great deal. German Euroscepticism is milk to British Euroscepticism's brandy. There's no doubt that the Germans have a very different view of the European Union than we do. And this wall goes a long way to explaining it. It makes the cultural idea of a greater European unity much more appealing to the Germans than it does to the British, for whom it isn't very exciting. There's oodles of goodwill. Germany wants the UK to stay in the European Union. But I don't think they understand the depth of concern back home and the need for real change if the UK is to stay in the European Union. So my guess on this is that we will be on our way to the exit.